The profile is for you to impress it. You have uh, good amount of experience, right? Mm -hmm. So I believe you already have knowledge of the city finance. Yes. And accounting also. Yes, sir. Right? Yes. Which one you are more comfortable with? The city or the uh, SAP, sir. But majority of your experience you can tell. Uh, but uh, recently, um, in my previous job, I worked in SAP. So it is more automatic, uh, automatic. So that is uh, like uh, friendly for us to work on. But in tally, we have to do so, so many manual work. But in uh, this, we have to do uh, use some T codes for uh, processing the queries. So SAP is more comfortable for us. And how many companies do you work in? I worked for four companies. I, I first one is uh, for, uh it's a CA firm. Out of these companies, apparently you're working, right? Oh uh, no, no, I'm not yeah, working. Sure. Yes, yes. So can you come in? Uh, what is the reason? I mean, you have been switching very really quickly, right? Every company is switching quite quickly. Uh, is it not interesting enough for you to work in one company for longer days? No, no. I left UPS after three and a half years. Three, almost three and nine months. Yes. Three years and nine months. It's not like I'm frequently changing, but I'm looking for a fresh start. But because uh, whenever we feel that we learned everything and uh, we have to start somewhere new, or uh, get the new opportunities, then I feel that we need to switch ourselves. Because uh, doing same thing again and again every day, it's it's a, it's not a simple task, but uh, doing the same thing every day, it's quite, uh, uh, means we learned everything and uh, we need something new to work on. So that's why I love it. No, it, it was UPS Logistics. Yes. Where you worked for Yes. What was your actual work? Just keep it short. What exactly were you doing? Uh, we were processing invoices, customer dispute related to invoices, payments. I was working for a collection like overpayment, uh, overdue payments, then late payments. Uh, then we were we were processing credit for if customer has paid more. Then we were working on that. In this job, uh, was there any incident where and, and let's say, I mean, you were not able, not proper, and you were struggling with it. Mm -hmm. Was there any incident that you really faced some kind of problem with that emission? Yes. Uh, when I started working with UPS, because I never had experience in logistics. So when I started working with UPS, then we uh, we we were in COVID, uh, in COVID. So we had uh, that. Uh, online uh, intro, uh, online training so we we felt so much uh, lack of training so uh, in that situation we face so many difficulties to process the queries because we never worked on uh, sap before because i worked uh, with emphasis but uh, there we using er uh, sorry tally so in while working with uh, ups we were using sap so I never had SAP knowledge. So in that time, I faced so many difficulties. So uh, we have 17 members in our team. So uh, they asked me uh, to uh, take initiative and uh, uh, I means ask our trainer to take uh, a, a, another session, which will help us to, um, which will help us to uh, uh, process more quests. So I asked my trainer, to take because he's uh, he's not from India, so we need to contact him. So and uh, after that we arrange training, and, uh, and then we uh, get to know that uh, how many difficulties we were facing and how it is easy to process. We have quite good amount of experience, mm -hmm. and uh, so it's a question I mean not particularly from your work experience, mm -hmm. but in general in your life. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is the best decision? Best decision. Uh, like, uh, best decision is uh, now I took participate in SAP certification because uh, I interviewed more than 10 companies previously. So whenever I uh, go for interview, they ask me for certification. So I think this is my good decision. It's late, uh, quite late, but it's a good decision for me uh, to take certification. 
because it's a, a, a today's era is like uh, automation era so if i behind this then means lack of uh, knowledge it's harmful so i want uh, that's my good decision that i uh, so what is your thought about the last one it's a 6 yes and what is your expectation expectation is as per company standards and my experience if i get more than my previous then that's Sometimes yes, yes. So, do you feel that that you are underpaid? Sometimes, yes, I feel that. But uh, whatever I uh, got to know from my seniors that uh, I don't have uh, IT experience. So because of that might be I am lacking behind. But overall my uh, performance was good. But because of my IT experience, I didn't get this job as in that we have to job role mm-hmm. this kind of a uh, big role mm-hmm. where you'll be leading around 5 to 10 people okay, okay. Mm-hmm. and as a team lead since you're coming to us according to you what is going to be your challenge uh, first thing every member has own mentality to handle the things so first challenge is uh, collecting those things like uh, what people think about me or what they are thinking about the company like so i first i need to know everyone each and each and every person but it will take so much of time so i will uh, do uh, i will uh, while working with them i will know them personally so that was my first challenge knowing each other how they work how they are going to uh, are they going to understand the process so everything i need to check on that suppose one team member is not cooperating with you mm-hmm. he is making creating lot of problem mm-hmm. about the girl thing mm-hmm. even hindering others for okay like not getting the best but then creating lot of problem what will you do first thing i'll do i'll personally talk with him that what is his problem because everyone has its own mind uh, mindset of, for uh, each team so i'll personally talk with that person what what is his problem so uh, i'll talk with him personally if he don't understand then i'll speak with my senior about his behavior with the team and uh, how he is performing with the uh, with our team so uh, then i'll talk with my uh, seniors and uh, i'll talk with him again that uh, this thing is no uh, no to your senior also so what does it is that can happen in both the managers still i have to talk with my seniors because it's a protocol to talk with your seniors before taking any actions and if the senior is not uh, acting on anything else. then uh, with um, i need to take action on him i'll i need to talk with that child um, about his behavior just give me your view on what is your view on escalation i mean uh, mm-hmm. is escalation needed or is it so the uh escalation about uh, this person or uh, okay you feel that the solution is needed to take someone call sometimes no but uh, if he is not behaving after uh, talking to him personally and he is still uh, doing the same well, once we can talk then second one is the reminder that we have already talk on this uh, but still you are not behaving then i need to talk with the hr so yes escalation is sometimes needed but not in all cases but few cases uh, according to that person behavior if he is not developing then i need to escalate that and you are ready to come five days to office yes yes you don't have any problem no you don't have just few more questions are asked in regard so as a person to uh, initiative taker as i already told you that i i like to lead team then i am creative helping helping nature i have always helping nature to my colleagues then enthusiastic i like to learn new things and i'm uh, i like to learn new things and i did that because uh, whenever new project come every time my seniors select me and m- one of my colleagues so i worked for four and four to five uh, other uh, teams uh, with other teams so i think i'm uh, enthusiastic i like to learn new things and uh, i can do multitasking also because i supported more uh, 
three to four teams while working with my own team. So I'm. And uh, that's the last question. Mm-hmm. Just in general, why should we hire you? Why you hire me? Because uh, see, I am uh, quite impressed with the company and the initiate uh, innovation and the customer satisfaction company has. And uh, I think I am good fit for this company because I have all the experience and the skills required for this position. So that's why I think I am good fit for this. And really so far we have been uh, doing pretty well, we have answered the question, the profile is okay. okay. But every person has some issues, right? Because we have been switching a lot of companies. Mm-hmm. So every place you switch, there must be some reason. Why do you pick your first company? First company, it's a, uh, it's a CA firm, which is in my hometown only. So I wanted to grow. Because of that, I left my previous company and there they were paying me so less. So I left my first job there and I moved to Pune. Then I completed my education, my MBA. And uh, then I, uh, I joined Vipro. And uh, then I, I thought that I'm uh, learning new things and uh, getting, I, I need to get pay more. So first thing, I left my job for that only. 